All right, we're going to turn now to a story about second chances and a man turning his life around. In the fall, Bernard McKinley will join the class of 2027 at the Northwestern School of Law. Now, his journey to study there is like no other. ABC's Will Gans joins us now with his story. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Gio. The acceptance rate at Northwestern's law school is just 4%, but the odds of Bernard McKinley even being able to apply were so unlikely. Here's his story. Bernard McKinley will start law school in the fall, but his trajectory to this moment, almost impossible. McKinley earning his bachelor's degree, taking the LSAT and applying for law school all while incarcerated. He was sentenced to nearly 100 years behind bars after a gang-related conviction at age 19, making a decision to change his life on his bus ride to the state penitentiary. I promised myself before I got out that bus that no matter what the outcome was, that you know I was just going to try to do better for myself. So he did. While behind bars, McKinley earned his GED and applied to a paralegal program. I started trying to understand the law um, little by little. McKinley working to reduce his own sentence and sharing what he learned with those without the means or access to legal aid. I was giving back and contributing to those who was in need of help, you know, in spite of them being incarcerated with me. You know, they were still human beings. Jennifer Lackey had a front row seat to McKinley's perseverance. For the five years in the program, Bernard just worked tirelessly. He was relentlessly focused. Now looking forward to starting school in the fall. My goal is to be a civil rights attorney and to also open up a nonprofit legal clinic in the inner city of Chicago. And though McKinley is the first graduate of Northwestern's prison education program to go to law school, he hopes he won't be the last. Allow your incarceration to be a time of self-transformation. Not only was Bernard the first incarcerated person to take the LSAT in Illinois, he's also the first person in his family to go to college. A full circle moment for the man who says he accepts full responsibility for the mistakes he made at age 16 and for the man he's becoming 23 years later. What wow. a story. And the message to allow the incarceration to be a transformation. Yeah. Um, and he's doing exactly that. Yeah. And he worked so hard. Yeah. Great story, Will. Thank you, Thank Gio. You. You better make sure you work hard to get back because Will's feeling real comfortable. Yeah, that's true. In this chair. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Get out. Get out. <laughs> it's keeping it warm for you, Gio.